Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008.
My name's Corey Campbell. I'm originally from Central Michigan, and I'm an old-time musician, focusing mainly on claw hammer banjo and fiddle tunes. And when did you first get into music? I started playing music about 10 or 11 years ago, right after high school. I just kind of dabbling with acoustic guitar, some electric, and then just moving more towards acoustic folk music, banjo and fiddle type stuff. And when did you first start performing music? I first started performing probably about five years into it, just as like a open mic duet, just some people in the local music scene around my college, just kind of informally jamming and playing at parties and things like that. And then later on, I was in a classic rock and country cover band.
And what kind of drew you to old time music? Well, like I said, I was hanging around that coffee shop a lot. And on Tuesday nights, they had an old time jam with about five people sitting around playing fiddle, guitar, bass. I mean, it was just great to sit and listen to, do homework, you know, whatever. After a while, I would just go there every Tuesday night and I decided to approach these guys and see if I could sit in and play some banjo with them. That's the other thing about old time music is it's very welcoming, it's very collaborative. So of course, they're like, sure, you know, and I just kinda, I didn't know much, but I just followed along and eventually just learned by ear. So what's it like performing that style of music? Well, I like performing old time music because it can be very trance-like. Kind of the, the main objective of old time is to immerse yourself in the tune and really get into the groove of it. And so that makes for an easy place to perform, uh, to kind of go to while you're performing. Originally, I was pretty shy, you know, with music and, and everything. So old time really helped me open up and be able to perform well in front of people, I think. All right, yeah, this tune's called Crow in the Spruce Tree. I figured that name out back in Michigan, but I think coming here was really the place to finish the tune.
And since you came from um, the Michigan music scene, now you're in the Minnesota music scene, what's kind of like the community in Minnesota been like? Well, the community in Minnesota has been great, very welcoming. There is a lot of music going on here. That's something I never really knew um, when I was younger. Where I'm from in Michigan, it's kind of a small town. You gotta drive about half hour to 45 minutes to get to anything culturally relevant. So there wasn't a lot of music going on. Definitely not a lot of old time. I was lucky to find the people that I did, but it seems like there's a lot more going on in Minnesota. And I'm glad to be here and be a part of it. Another one that I wrote probably about five years ago, it's called The Melting Snow. It was uh, winter time right before I moved out of Michigan. I just went through a breakup that I didn't really see coming. And I was just feeling really lost, you know, and it was the end of winter, which is always kind of difficult. And I had just started playing the banjo too, probably only about three months into it. And it just kind of came out one day. And that's kind of how all of my songwriting kind of happens. Whenever I plan a song, it just never really works out. But then I'll be just messing around, either sitting in my backyard or on the porch or something. And all of a sudden I start playing something and it's like, whoa, this could be a song. So yeah, that was probably the first good banjo tune that I wrote, and I'm looking forward to playing that for you guys tonight and seeing what people get out of it.
Thanks, everybody. Thanks for coming. Thanks for sticking around. Backroads is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money by the vote of the people November 4th, 2008. If you enjoy watching Backroads online, please consider making a tax-deductible donation at lptv.org.